Hello there camera orders and I hope you enjoy your cup of coffee. Today I want to speak about uh, a camera that has changed history literally <laughs> and that is uh, the Polaroid. It has been for us for a long time and uh, many famous artists and photographers have uh, reached out with the Polaroid camera and uh, I think it was uh, around the 40s that the first Polaroid camera was created. I mean, when it was commercialized and sold, it changed the... I mean, the normal person's way of uh, expressing themselves in their everyday lives. It got much more, more simple and you had an instant result with the Polaroid. And the, the atmosphere of the photography is... I mean, it. it it's a lot of Polaroid films to mention, um, but uh, I think it's a reason why the Polaroid camera has gotten so popular and is even today. Most of all, it's not many or any cameras that gives you that instant result. I mean, in digital or black and white photography, you need to print the image, with, which is of course noble, but that direct exposure to the print when you take it is very, I mean, it's instant and uh, it gives you a direct uh, kick in looking at the photography. And uh, to mention history of Polaroid, I mean, it's widespread and it's even today, as I mentioned. Look at Andy Warhol, for example. Um, and uh, Photographers like Dash No, for example, and many others. Um, I think they use the Polaroid for two reasons. And that is the reason I mentioned earlier, because uh, it gives a spontaneous and very naive result. Um, and the second reason, I think, is uh, because the Polaroid can be used in a variety of films. Some gives a specific atmosphere to the photography, bleached or hard contrast or anything. And many photographers use them with uh, expired Polaroid films and uh, most often it gives a very unique result and uh, brings forth the transition of time, uh, which I love with many photographers and friends of me who mostly photograph with Polaroids. The negative things about Polaroids today is that it's, I mean, you can buy quite cheap Polaroid cameras that works well, but Polaroid film costs a fortune <laughs> and uh, you really have to be dedicated to work with Polaroid and uh, you can't take that many shots. But that kick when you take the photo and get that direct feeling is, uh, I mean, I can't compare it with anything. When I used Polaroid, I used a Polaroid S6 something LAN camera and it was a manual focus and gave great results. Um, I mean, I loved it, but I didn't have the patience and the income at the moment to prioritize it. I think I also used, uh, I think it was a, was it a Mamaya? seven two um with some back thing that could attach polaroids and give it give it very good results um but uh, same with that it was a very expensive thing and i give that opportunity to other photographers because it's not mainly what i love to work with in the end of this episode i want you to at least try working with polaroids and uh, work with the different techniques with Polaroids and uh, try to see that uh, uniqueness in using this and uh, how fun it is and uh, that direct connection with the photography. Well, that was all for this post and uh, well, cheers.